Physics Chapter Simple Machines In order to make everyday tasks easier, human beings have constantly strived to create new devices or tools. These devices which make our work faster and easier are called machines. The nail cutter, the bottle opener, needle, stapler, sharpener, the wheelbarrow, the hammer, the seesaw, etc. are all simple machines. There are six simple machines. Let's look at them. Machines are inclined plane, wedge, lever, wheel and axle, screw and pulley. Simple and complex machine. What are machines? The devices that make our work faster and easier are called machines. Simple machines versus complex machine. Simple machines have only one or two parts. They have a simple structure and are easy to handle. Complex machines are combination of two or more simple machines. They have complicated structure and are not very easy to handle. The first simple machine is inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat supporting surface tilted at an angle with one end higher than the other which is used as an aid for raising or lowering a load. If viewed from the side, an inclined plane looks like a triangle. The surface of an inclined plane is at an angle against the horizontal surface. An inclined plane is often used in real life adapted applications to make moving heavy or delicate objects easier. When moving an object up a plane, it requires a consistent force to keep it moving. This force, however, is much lower than having to lift the object all at once. The mechanical advantage of inclined plane is ratio of length of the inclined plane to the height at which the load is raised. Examples of inclined plane are slides, stairs, ramps. So are stairs an inclined plane? Yes, a staircase is considered an inclined plane because it makes an angle to the surface. Is an escalator an inclined plane? An escalator is an inclined plane since it is the same category as staircase. Is ladder an inclined plane? A ladder is considered an inclined plane because it is placed at an angle to the surface. When a person climbs the ladder, they are not climbing vertically. The second simple machine is a wedge. A wedge is a triangle shaped mechanism. It can be used to separate object, example an axe splitting the wood. Lift an object, hold an object in place, example the door stopper. So various examples of wedge are an axe, knife, saw, pencil sharpener, shovel, zipper. The force, the input force is applied and the output force separates the objects in two different directions. So the application and uses of which are uh, chopping wood, for example, axe, chain or a handsaw, uh, a door stopper, a spear used for hunting, a grater that we use for grating purposes like grating cheese, a peeler to peel potatoes or carrots, a needle used for sewing cloth, a push pin used for holding paper on the board, a plow that's used for plowing the field. These are all the examples of a witch in our daily life. The third simple machine is a screw. A screw is one of the most commonly used mechanical devices in the world. It is a mechanism that converts rotational motion into linear motion. Why is a screw a simple machine? A screw has long and thin metal shaft with threads spiraling along its length. It also has a turning head with a groove where a screwdriver can be used to rotate the screw. The strength of the screws hold depends on the width of the threads and the distance between them 
the closer and wider the threads the stronger the hold will be so a screwdriver or different types are nut and bolt card jack drill gun so nut and bolt can hold things together a card jack can lift heavy loads a drill gun drill holes on object examples of screw are cock screw to open the cock light bulb is also a screw car jack to lift heavy objects example to lift the car to replace the tires the drill gun the nut and bolt all these are examples of a screw a bottle cap or jar lid is an example of which simple machine so let's see the bottle cap or the jar lid is an example of a screw the cap of the water bottle has a spiral shape when you place it on the bottle and twist it the cap pulls itself towards the bottle wheel and axle the fourth simple machine is wheel and axle a wheel and axle consists of a rod attached to a wheel when the wheel turns the axle turns and vice versa there are two applications for wheel and axle force multiplier so it can be used to multiply force such as turning the steering wheel of a car so the steering wheel of a car is an example of wheel and axle distance multiplier can be used to cover distance such as the wheels of a car or a bicycle are also example of wheel and axle and they help to cover long distance so various examples in of wheel and axle in our day to day life are water tap door knob wheelchair an electric fan windmill pulley skateboard screw driver remember screw driver is an example of wheel and axle the screw is an example of simple machine screw whereas the screw driver is an example of wheel and axle the fifth simple machine is a lever a lever system consists of a rigid bar that balances on a fixed point called a fulcrum in lever system a force is called an effort effort is applied to one end of the lever to move a load the position of effort load and fulcrum determine the type of or the class of the lever so first class lever or class 1 lever the fulcrum is in between the effort and the load remember fulcrum is in between it is class 1 lever example of class 1 lever is a scissor where the fulcrum is in between the load and the effort the second class lever or class 2 lever the load is in between the fulcrum and the effort a good example of class 2 lever is a wheelbarrow where the load is in between the fulcrum and the effort class 3 lever or the third class lever is where the effort is in between the load and the fulcrum the effort lies in between the load and the fulcrum that is the class 3 lever example of class 3 lever is our hand so let's see more examples of first class lever pilers just like this a pilers are also class 1 lever the seesaw the, the in the seesaw we can easily see the fulcrum in the center the scissor claw hammer is also a class 1 lever the fulcrum is in between the effort and the load in all of these cases now the second class lever or class 2 lever as i initially said wheelbarrow is a good example of class 2 lever other examples of class 2 lever are nutcracker nail clipper bottle opener door gate 
So in class two liver, the load is in between the effort and fulcrum. Class three liver, good examples of class three liver is a broom, bow and arrow, human jaw, baseball bat, a fishing rod, a stapler. So in class three liver, the effort is in between the load and the fulcrum. In broom, the load is at the bottom. The effort is the human hand, which is in between, and the fulcrum is the end of the stick. Same in the fishing rod. The fulcrum is at the end of the fishing rod. The load is where the fish is being caught, and the effort is in the center where the wire is being wound up. Now let's understand pulley. The pulley is a simple machine that consists of a grooved wheel and a rope. Like a lever, it provides a mechanical advantage in lifting heavy load. There is a direct relationship between the number of ropes that form the pulley and its resulting advantage. So there are two basic types of pulleys, fixed pulley and a movable pulley. What is fixed pulley? When the grooved wheel is attached to a surface, it forms a fixed pulley. The main benefit of a fixed pulley is that it changes the direction of the required force. Remember, the fixed pulley changes the direction of the required force. For example, to lift an object from the ground, the effort would be applied downwards instead of pulling up the object. So water well, to lift the water from the well, we draw the rope downwards and the bucket is pulled up so the water from the well is drawn up. The blinds, window blinds, an elevator or a lift. However, a fixed pulley provides no concrete mechanical advantage. The same amount of force is still required but may be applied in another direction. So the same amount of force is required but instead of lifting the object, we are pulling it down. A movable pulley. A movable pulley consists of a rope attached to some surface. The wheel directly supports the load and the effort comes from the same direction as the rope. A movable pulley reduces the effort required to lift a load. Movable pulleys do provide a mechanical advantage. The effort needed to raise a load is reduced according to the number of ropes supporting the load. So various examples of movable pulley are crane, a gym equipment, a line rope. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. The next video will have some questions solved on mechanical advantage. Do watch that and do subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye bye.